Okay, I got the floor back in here. Okay. And uh, I had to cut over here. I had to cut longer slots for the brake and the gas pedal. And I'll cut this off about here. All right. And uh, put a pedal on there for the brake. All right. And uh, I have to reinforce this. I have to reinforce this because it's too springy. The, the seats go like this, right? Okay. Then I'll, I'll put the whole thing together. So anyway, this is, this is all, uh, all I got done today. So how long do you think it might be until you get this running? Oh, I can start it right now. I'll oh. just put a chair in. I wanted to make sure that the, the fuel pump drew out of both tanks. And does it? Pardon? And does it? Well, I'm, I'm pretty sure it does because I got gas pressure. Now, whenever you're starting a bombardier of the automatic, put your foot on the brake. Oh. Would you go to the back and put the master switch okay. on? Switch on. There you are. Okay, you hear the fuel pump? Yeah. Well, it just quit. Now it's telling you you're ready to start. I gotta do an adjustment on the linkage. That's the fan belt squealing. Okay, there we are. Okay, watch yourself when you're getting out. Yep. Switch off. Oh, no, I'll go turn it off. Well, how do you feel about at least knowing that that fires up? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Uh, I mean, what we're doing is we're drawing from both tanks, so they both have to be full because this one returns off of this electronic ignition. Okay. So if you uh, draw this tank down to nothing, it might not pull out of that one. So anyway, we'll see what happens. But we got fuel starts. Sounds good. Everyone should have these. That's the tip of the nail right there. Have a master switch. You got no power going through your battery. Oh, this this Ukrainian, I put this together, just give me such a headache that unbelievable. What Twice the work of doing it once right. So Dad's got the covers on now from over there and there and over here. That eliminates the plywood, eh? Perfect. And it looks a hell of a lot better too.